Hey, it's Will of Will's Garden, and one of the questions everybody loves to ask me is how much pressure do you get out of an IBC tote full of water, and why do you need a pump? Well, went ahead and hook up the gauge. I actually first bought a different gauge, but it would not actually read low enough. It just kept on fluctuating. So we're opened up. This one's going off elsewhere, but it's closed. This one's open. We're a tank and a half full with a double stack kit, and we're reading right at about two and a half PSI. Your house is usually about 40, 40 to 60 PSI. Some are gonna be a little bit higher, some are gonna be a little bit lower. That's just kind of an average. We're at two and a half here. So that's why you need to use a little pump is recommended. Check out our other videos on pump solutions. The other reason is, is water seeks out its lowest point. That means it's only gonna work if the hose is lower than the level of water in the tank and the difference there. So right now, you know, we're running at about six feet of water. If you're holding the hose at waist height, you're really only going to be getting about half a PSI. So just a little food for thought. Okay, here we are. We're getting roughly two and a half PSI off a, the double stack kit, high flow kit with a tank and a half of water. And I just want you to see, it's halfway between the two and the three. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the valve and get the water flowing out so you can see what the PSI roughly is off the splitter. So this will give you a representation of what we're looking at. So with it flowing, the gauge is showing just under two PSI, good flow just not a lot of pressure. You know, you try to do stuff like that, you're, you're not gonna get that far. So right now on the ground, we're at two and a half PSI, but if we lift the gauge up, the higher we get closer to the top of the tank, the lower the PSI gets. See how we're off the ground? And as we go up, we go up, we go up. And remember, I'm hooked up to the double stack kit. We're at the top equal with the bottom tank. And we're at about a pound and a quarter PSI. And we still have a whole half a tank up there. Just trying to represent to you what the PSI looks like just off of gravity. And back down to the bottom and back to two and a half PSI. And I had a customer asking me what happens if you force feed the double stack high flow kit from the bottom. So they're asking if it builds up too much pressure because when you do double stack, there does become all sun pressure on the bottom one from the top tank and would the venting system be able to keep up with bottom loading um so for a point of reference right now the gauge is reading right about two and a half and we're just about a third of a tank uh just a, don't know what to call that about half a tank a little less than half a tank of in the top tank and we're making two and a half PSI roughly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn on the plug and play system and see what happens. So that's the initial push. And this isn't the greatest test in the world because I don't have a great place to test the PSI. Um, you know, it's right at the V. I'm going to close this just slightly going to the gauge just to give us a little bit more accurate reading. But if you watch, in the worst place possible, we're getting about four and a half PSI. I first tried it with this other gauge. All it was doing was barely even shaking the needle because there was so little pressure. But at the worst spot possible, it's holding at four and a half PSI. The tank is solid. The top tank is clearly rising. It's going up like it's supposed to. 
the air vents working, nothing's coming out of it. It's not making any noise, like it's gasping for air. It's just doing its thing. The bottom tank is expanding slightly. A um, little bit of bowing, nothing crazy. I've seen it just from temperature changes do that coming out of a refrigerator. Uh, I tried hooking it up and I'll play the video of that right now up top there. But once again, it's in at the T is where I had a place to mount the pressure gauge. So it's holding at four and a half PSI right at the manifold, which is telling me that it's probably a good bit lower. The pump is holding just under 40 PSI and we're wide open. We're getting some really good flow. As you can see, the wire level just keeps on rising. Um, better flow than I first tried this experiment hooked up to the city. That was actually less water flow. Um, so hold in there. So here we have the plug and play system back filling the double stack high flow kit. I had a customer asking about it. I've been filling it. He's wondering how much pressure does the bottom one go to. And I just wanted to show you real quick that it's right around one PSI. Let me shut that down. It's been holding there. It's now gonna drop a little bit. I just wanna make sure you can hear this. So I, re I filled the, it from the bottom going up through the top. I put a T right at the air snorkel and that's what's going over to the gauge and that's what's getting us the reading there i had to buy a lower pressure gauge than i had planned on like i already said because i couldn't even get it to read on this one it barely fluctuated so it's holding right around one psi at that spot um the tank does become very solid and a little and ballooned out and a ballooned up. You'll notice there's no gap there, but it does not seem like it's at all structurally a problem. Um, most IBC totes at the factory are tested at three PSI is what I was reading online to make sure that they're all good to go. So I just feel like that this is totally good.